Okay, so, yep, it's a messy sink, but you can't have good stuff if you don't make a mess. So, I just cut up some lemons and plenty of avocados. This is the last one I'm going to do, actually. You know, I almost feel like just throwing this in my, you know, on my grounds, you know? I mean, whether I'm going to be able to successfully uh, compost or not, but it should go back to the ground, right? That's where it should go. Who knows if animals would eat it? I know that uh, the deer, they eat a lot of, they eat the banana peels, even of, of, plantains so maybe they could eat this i mean it's good for them right just because we don't eat it doesn't mean that there's no use for them so i already have a lot of juice down at the bottom as you can see you see it there floating a little bit and um i'm just going to call it a day and i'm just doing this because i didn't want it to go bad because they're already all soft and I want to mush them into the lemon so the lemon could help preserve it. And then tomorrow I'll get up and I'll uh, cut up onions and peppers. And the guacamole will be done. Um, I don't think that I have in the fridge any cilantro. Let me see. Okay, so we're in, we're in luck. I got lots and lots of fresh cilantro. And lemon purifies things, so you know what? I'm just gonna cut this up. I'm just tired. I've been working all day on my storage room. <laughs> I'm being a little sloppy here, I'll be honest, right? But lemon does purify things, and there's plenty of lemon in there. So just watch what I do. I need to remove this. I wanna wanna cook some beans. I think maybe I'll boil some beans now takes a couple of days the way I do it but it's good to uh, put the beans in water so it could take out the toxins and you throw out the water in the morning and do that a couple of times a couple of days because uh, there's a lot of toxins in the ground see I'm using a knife who cares I'm using a knife to mix all of this right it's got lemon it's got cilantro <laughs> and my guacamole is almost done right <laughs> who would have thunk who would have thunk this Mmm, actually it tastes really good. Yeah. So, do some peppers in here. Again, I'm not afraid of germs. Uh, boy, it tastes good. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So, I'm going to do this the good old-fashioned Felice way. old-fashioned Felice way so I can hurry up and get get to bed and get to rest it's my Shabbat and uh, I did a lot of stuff that but God knows I'm a survivor and so if we're gonna survive you know Shabbat allows us to do it because Jesus said if the animal falls in the ditch how many of you would not catch it right so I think that it's okay what I'm doing here <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I want to put some more lemon. Try not to cut myself, but that's what happens when you're in a rush, right? You don't get cut. Don't get cut now. All right. So I got almost all of it. Except for, let me just cut this off. And it's got plenty of onions, right? <laughs> Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? So now I'm going to stir it some more. There's going to be some big pieces of onions in there, but that's okay. Let's see? I'm stirring it real good. So we get some onions down at the bottom, right? <laughs> I'm even using a knife. Oh, who would have thunk, right? And it tastes really good, quite frankly. Because, guess what? I'm finger... Mmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I don't need anything more. Anything more of anything. Put my, my little 
sink garbage thing here. I think I'm going to put some, I should put some beans to boil. Done that easy beans. They just don't come back fast. Just give me a second here as I pour some water in a good pot. Boil some beans. Boil some beans. There we go. Boil some beans. What a bug. That is tired as I am. I'm getting still getting things done for the day. Or for the week. This is gonna be food for the week. See this? I got all these that I can handle. So I'm gonna have to freeze some of those because uh I can't eat all of them. Okay. I'm not going to soak them like I said because I'm gonna let them boil on a really really high heat. I'm gonna turn it off. So let me go back. Oh, I got a little cup, but there's no blood. No blood. Okay, so peppers, not too many peppers in the, the, the um, what do you call it, guacamole is tasting really good. <laughs> and I'm going to yet put another lemon in there. I think this is all I really need. I don't really need a whole lot of peppers. I really don't. I think I, I'm good with one because I'm going to, I'm going to fry onions and peppers and save it for my meals so I can make a quick meal all the time. So, let me do one more lemon here. You know, it's always better to use. So much easier. Now, all of these, I'm washing them, and I'm saving them as seeds. Um, there you go. All right, who would have thunk, right? Do one more lemon. What's the lemon squeezer thing here? All right. Let me take out the uh, seeds. Because you know what? I think I want the pulp. I want to use the pulp. Dude, I, when I take remove the seeds, there's like still a, plenty of juice in there. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Still plenty of juice in there. More onion in there. So now when I, tomorrow, right, I can make myself a sandwich and put some guacamole in it. Look at this. More lemon. Oh, I put a little seed fell in there. So let me take out just the seeds because I want to use the pulp. and put. I never put the pulp in there. The pulp always goes to waste and it shouldn't. I don't see why the pulp should ever go to waste, right? Just like when you buy juice, right? You can buy it with or without the pulp. And, uh, I think I've already filmed, um, making guacamole before. But you see, you could be tired and all that. I was really busy today, catching, getting, getting caught up on organizing the house, uh, for some construction to be done, or just touches on the house, right? And, uh, because an inspector's coming anytime, right? Anytime soon. Yeah, just throw this in here and it's easy cleanup. So, yeah, I'm gonna spin it again, right? I'll spin it again. And now, look at this guacamole, how nicely it's coming up. I, I, I hardly even touched it, right? I didn't even cut it. You, know, you saw it was all in big pieces, right? Look at this. It's got some peppers, not too many. It's got lemon and it's got plenty of cilantro. So I'm gonna give it a taste test. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. I reused my containers. Mmm. 
got my be beans boiling. And it's a good day when you could reuse your plastic containers. <laughs> See ya.